welcome back guys this is I believe episode 4 I'm getting back into how to videos this series of how to list how to ship um, everything eBay um, so this video is going to be about platforms I have to get this one out of the way because there's many different platforms you've heard the phrase don't put all your eggs in one basket it's true I sell almost everything on eBay but there is more than eBay there is actually two concepts for platforms there's local pickup and there's internet based sales so real quickly on local pickup um, you probably know this one and it's the oldest I believe as far as local pickup it's Craigslist Craigslist is basically classified ads like we used to have in the newspaper but it's internet based it's a website basically which you can access on a smartphone or a laptop any way you want and you basically put an ad on Craigslist when you're selling something. Now I know newspapers, like my newspaper uh, locally has a website called MLive.com which is, encompasses many newspapers. You can still put classified ads on MLive.com but I think there's a charge. You'll have to research that and check. And then for your local area, if you still have newspapers where you live, I bet they have a website too and you can place classified ads on their website so those are the two concepts there's also new apps that are coming out all the time some uh, ones called let go ones called offer up and there's new ones coming out all the time so if this video is a couple years old there's probably even more and those are just like Craigslist basically and you're catering to a buying audience that lives close to your home probably within 50 to 75 miles so you're restricted to your buying audience to whoever lives close to you or it could be close to where you work so let's say you commute 25 miles every day um, you could post something for local pickup based on where you work in that general area or your home so in the future I'll do a video on Craigslist and the pros and cons of local pickup versus online selling so keep that in mind um, the local pickup concept you know that started way back you know probably 50 years or more a garage sale is basically local pickup you advertise that now you advertise your garage sale online but yard sales garage sales rum church rummage sales all those things are basically local pickup so with the invention of eBay and I believe and correct me if I'm wrong 1997 ish um, eBay was one of the first, not the first, but one of the first online auction websites. And it was basically the world's largest flea market. And when they first started, and I believe when I first started in 2002, it was only auctions. Um, and it was massive. I mean, it just took off millions of users, uh, millions of website views. It was huge, hugely successful too. Um, today, you have a lot of options to sell online. Um, and the advantage obviously is that your buying audience is millions of people globally versus locally for local pickup but eBay does have an option of local pickup like if you sell an automobile on eBay eBay Motors obviously you're not going to ship the automobile so it has to be local pickup so that is an option so eBay has more competition now you have people um, hobbyists just like you and I who can sell on Amazon.com you can now sell on Walmart.com You've got Etsy, you've got Poshmark, you've got Mercury, or I'm saying that wrong, but it seems like every month there's a new website that people are selling on. And some of these sites come and go. Some of these websites um, cater to a certain audience, like Etsy is, you know, arts and crafts mostly. Um, Poshmark is mostly clothing and accessories. I don't think anybody tries to do everything with the exception of eBay. eBay you can sell brand new items, used items, collectibles, crafts. There are restrictions of course but you can sell anything from an automobile to a pencil. Um, these other options they don't really allow the flexibility that eBay does. So because this is eBay for beginners I'm going to focus on eBay but I want you to consider too you know join Poshmark.com or Etsy.com and look into that and maybe you can di diversify and sell a little bit here a little bit there um, I personally love eBay but we have to be realistic you can't put all your eggs in one basket 
something could happen to eBay, it could decline, it could get sold, who knows. So um, it never hurts to have multiple platforms. You know, that, that's just good business, even though you're not a business. Um, that's what I would consider if I were you. So, so when eBay first started, it was an online auction site. Eventually they expanded into what's called Buy It Now. So if you see the acronym BIN, capital B-I-N, that stands for Buy It Now. So you actually can just outright sell items on eBay or you can do an auction or you can do both, whatever you like to do. Sometimes if I have a hot item that I know is gonna be in really big demand, I'll start it out as an auction because the worst thing is to have a collectible that you think is worth 20 bucks and you do buy it now for 20 bucks and it sells in five seconds. I mean, literally, as soon as you post it on eBay, within minutes, cha-ching, it's gone, it's sold. That's a good indication that you probably put it on there way too low. So valuable collectibles, things that are hot that you know are very popular, I put it on as a seven-day auction because if my instincts are right, there's going to be a bidding war and it's going to go 20 to 22 to 25 to 20. It's going to go crazy, and you're going to get your best possible price. Um, so doing a buy it now, a little bit of risk that you're pricing it too low. There's really no risk for pricing it too high. It just won't sell, and you just relist it. Um, the other option, too, is when you do buy it now, um, you can accept offers. Now, I'm not sure if you're allowed to accept offers right away or if you have to have an eBay store. You'll have to research that and look into it. But there is, either now or eventually, when you're doing eBay, you can check a box that says accept offers. So let's say that collectibles, you think it's worth 20 bucks. You can put it on eBay, say for $30 or $40, and accept best offer. Somebody will come along and offer you 25 or $30, and you can either accept it or decline it. So eBay has really grown and changed a lot. Um, much different than when I started and there's all new features new options coming out all the time those features and options though are based on your seller level if you're just a beginner or if you're a top rated seller I'm a top rated seller I eventually got that you have extra perks if you're a top rated seller you can also list things on eBay just as a listing or you can have an eBay store now, if you have an eBay store, that doesn't mean you own a business. You're not, you're, you don't have to have a business license or a tax ID. It, a store just gives you more features and more flexibility. So for many years, since 2002, I have only listed things on eBay. Um, just recently, oh, probably September, October of 2018, I decided to go with a starter store. That's the very lowest store you can have. It's, I don't know, $7.95 a month. Um, you get perks and then little things that you can do with the store so you get extra options um, you can promote your items but you have to pay for that you can accept offers eBay now is expanding where you can send offers to people so if people are watching your item and say it's twenty dollars you can send them an offer and say hey for the next 48 hours I'll sell it to you for fifteen dollars or seventeen or whatever so there's always new options and I don't want to talk too much about f options and flexibility right now because it's going to change so you have to look into it and do your own research the best thing to do is go to ebay.com and just go to the question and answer section how do I list on eBay how do I sell things on eBay because if you're watching this video two years after I made it they're gonna have new options new flexibility new rules what you can and can't do um, so I don't want to get too deep into that so the advantage to local pickup like Craigslist, Offer Up, Let Go, these local um, apps and options is that you don't have to pay for shipping, right? You meet the person in public and you make the exchange just like in the olden days. You don't have any shipping issues, no shipping costs, no packaging materials. It's free. It doesn't cost anything to sign up with Craigslist and I don't believe it costs anything to sign up with these other apps. It's completely free. Uh, it's free to list it, it's free to sell it, there's no fees, once it sells, there's really no cost at all. Um, the other apps, like Offer Up and Let Go, are more private. You communicate with your potential buyer through the app only. So they don't really know where you live or what your cell number or your email is. Um, some people like that um, secrecy or privacy. Craigslist, you have to use your personal cell phone number and your email 
and that's how the potential buyer communicates with you. Some people don't like that. I don't really care. It's no big deal. I've never had a bad situation doing that. Um, and then the online selling. The downside of the online selling is there's shipping. Either the buyer pays it or you pay it. The downside is also there's fees. If you're going to sell on Amazon, $40 a month, flat rate, list as many items as you want. That's a pretty big chunk every month, 40 bucks. With eBay, you don't have to pay anything to list it. But when it sells, there's a final value fee. So there's a small fee that you have to pay that's eBay's share. There's also a PayPal fee right now. And I put that in quotes right now. PayPal is the only option, but they are changing that. So um, eBay is going to manage the money just like any e-commerce. Um, that's going to go away. PayPal is an option really soon. I don't know when. This Filming of this right now is June of 2019. So soon PayPal will be an option and eBay managing the money is an option. I believe in the year 2021 PayPal is going away completely. But there's still going to be fees. There's always fees with eBay. And then you got shipping. You know, there, I'll talk about that in a future video. There's, there's pros and cons of offering free shipping, pros and cons of charging the buyer shipping. But there's always going to be fees. And I'm not sure what Walmart.com's fees are. But that's the downside, but for me it's worth it to pay the final value fee on eBay and a tiny PayPal fee to have an audience of a billion people per month going to eBay.com. You, you can't beat that. You can't have a garage sale and have a billion people walk through your garage. It's, you just can't do it. And it's the cost of doing business. So if eBay wants a small cut of the action, I don't care. And if you don't like it, then don't sell on eBay. Sell it at a flea market or a Craigslist. It's free. Um, you can do that too. So. There's pros and cons of both. Um, I, I just enjoy eBay. I like the platform. Um, they've had a lot of complaints about customer service. I've never had a problem. The few times I'd ever have to call customer service, it was late at night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They pick up the phone within minutes. They're super friendly, and they fix the problem right away. So uh, maybe that's the key is calling late at night. So this is the episode four on platforms. What do you want to do, local, that's free, or do you want to go global, international, national, online, but you have to pay fees, and there's a cost involved. There's also a learning curve. The local pickup stuff like Craigslist and Offer Up and Let Go is super easy. It's intuitive. You download the app, or Craigslist, you don't have to download anything. You don't have to join anything. And with websites like eBay, Poshmark, Amazon, there's a learning curve. It's, it's not easy. I'll admit that. It takes time to learn it. And I don't sell on Amazon right now, but I probably will eventually. But $40 a month is pretty steep. I mean, I think you'd have to be a full-time seller to spend that kind of money. So starting out as a hobby part-time, I highly recommend eBay. That's the way to go. So upcoming videos, I'm going to talk more about how to describe your item, how to list your item, how to price your item, how to research it, all, all of that stuff. So the instructional videos are coming now. Episode four, this is the kickoff instructional video for the difference between the platforms. If you have any questions, my email is in the description below. If you're just watching this video and this is the first video you've seen, I recommend you go to the very first video, episode one, and I'll link that below. It explains what this channel is all about. I can't believe this has been 15 minutes and I'm just talking about the pros and cons of local versus internet based so probably doesn't feel like a lot of instruction but um, you're probably focused on eBay so future videos I'm not going to talk about the local pickup apps and all of that I'm going to focus just on eBay maybe way into the future I'll talk about Amazon.com or something like that so this is the Midwest Picker I hope you enjoyed the video come back for episode 5